Charleston city leaders are searching for new ways to lower crime on King Street. They are also trying to make it safer for those going to bars and restaurants in the downtown Charleston area. News 2's Riley Benson joins us now live on Upper King Street. And Riley, city leaders are considering several options, including an earlier last call. Carolyn, King Street safety remains a hot topic for city leaders tasked with keeping the business district experience alive while making sure crime stays out. Those leaders say the party atmosphere on King Street has gotten out of hand. What they talked about last night is accurate. We, we, at, at closing time, on the weekends, we have a problem that we need to address and, and have better outcomes. King Street Nightlife, drawing comparisons from city leaders to Bourbon Street in New Orleans and Myrtle Beach. Police Chief Luther Reynolds says recent stabbings and shootings have left city leaders searching for ways to improve safety. I, I really do believe that 1 a.m. Is, is a time um, when, when our city should shut down. Among the options being considered, moving last call up an hour to 1 a.m. with the hopes of encouraging late night bar goers to leave the area sooner. We're working closely with the business community and having these discussions. Uh, and the mayor has, has really wants to have some consensus and at least listen to the businesses. Safety is high on the minds of more than just the city's top law enforcer. Business owners like El Jefe co-owner Roy Neal says the recent crime draws attention to the need. All of the businesses up and down King Street want the sidewalk safe and clear, whether it's at 10 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock at night when your staff is leaving, when your patrons from your restaurant or bar are leaving. Neal says he doesn't necessarily agree with restricting bars and restaurants. The most responsible businesses are out there pretty much shutting down. They're in that shutdown mode by 1.30. I don't think the city needs to enact a new order to shut down and, uh, and limit businesses any further. City and business leaders sharing a similar goal. Different ways to achieve it left searching for answers. The goal is that it'll be a net net positive and that it'll make our city better and make our experience even better than it already is. Now, City Council opted to not make a decision or change to the city's last call ordinance at last night's City Council meeting, delaying that until at least June, allowing, them, allowing themselves for more time on the best possible solutions. Now, city leaders are expected to meet with King Street business owners sometime this week. For now, reporting live in downtown Charleston, Raleigh Benson, Count On 2.